On Sunday, the strategically important villages of Zormagar and Ziaret were liberated by Yepage Yepage forces from ISIS gangs. The village of Zormagar, 40 kilometers to the west of Kobane, is of strategic importance with its hills overlooking the town of Jarablus. Fierce clashes took place before the village was cleansed of ISIS gangs. With the liberation of Zormagar and the nearby Qasra Ahmed Munir, the Yepage Yepage forces reached the Euphrates River. The upper town of Sheikhlar, Shiug, located on the bank of Euphrates River and 45 kilometers to the west of Kobane, has also been liberated in an operation launched by the Yepage Yepage forces on Thursday evening. The town has reportedly been taken under full control following fierce clashes that lasted until Friday morning. With the liberation of Sheikhlar town, all areas on the east side of Euphrates between Jarablus and Kobane have been cleansed of ISIS gangs and taken under full control by the Yepage Yepage forces. The ISIS gangs suffered many losses in the operation, although the exact numbers couldn't be ascertained so far. In their retreat, the ISIS gangs blew up the bridge between Jarablus and Shiug with explosives while fleeing to the border town of Jarablus. After liberating almost all the villages ISIS occupied after the gangs' attacks began on 15 September, the Yepage Yepage forces have now gone beyond the pre-assault defense line. The Yepage Yepage forces have begun to monitor the town of Jarablus on the other side of the Euphrates River. Yepage commander Shivan Farashin said that Yepage Yepage fighters did not only protect the Kurdish people, but were also waging a struggle for all the peoples of Syria.